Our next guest is a two-time Grammy nominee and one of Australia's most respected musicians. Legendary guitarist Tommy Emmanuel has a professional career that spans five decades and continues to intersect with some of the finest musicians throughout the world. A household name in his native of Australia, Tommy has garnered hundreds of thousands of loyal fans worldwide and tonight he is playing right here in downtown Grand Rapids at DeVos. Indeed. Oh, thank Grand you Rapids. so much. Here we are. Yeah, and you know what? We built this beautiful studio just for your Thank you. Yeah, uh, I can see that it's arrival. just finished. It's mm -hmm. really nice. It's really good. So good. Tell, tell us about your music. I mean, it is just, when we mention your name to people, yeah. musicians just people can't went, even who? believe that. No, no, no. People can't believe that you're here. You have such a, just an amazing career. Oh, well, I feel like it's just beginning. Um, I started out uh, playing in in a band with my family, uh, I was the youngest, and so my my eldest brother, my eldest sister, and my my closest brother, we were the quartet, and we got ourselves on TV, and we entered in all sorts of talent competitions and stuff like that. And we we were on shows with the Bee Gees and people like that. When when the Bee Gees were these three little skinny kids, you know, <laughs> and I can still remember that, and I remember seeing Barry Gibb playing the guitar like this, right? Because he, he, he had his guitar tuned to what we call an open tuning. So when, he, when, when you do that with your finger, it, it, it makes a nice sound. You don't have to be doing any of this. And we were watching him and my brother said, those guys will nev never get anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> it was the Bee Gees. Yes, know? exactly. <laughs> so neat. So and most uh, singers and most uh, professional acts, they have mm. several different pieces to their band. They have right. the drums and they mm. have, you know, the, the bass and the, the, bass and the and keys. And you do everything yeah. all at once. With I do. All ten fingers. Well, when I heard Chet Atkins uh, playing on the radio, I think I was about eight years old, and I could hear that he was playing everything at once. And I don't quite know how to explain that because, um, you know, it was complicated what he was doing. But I had one of those moments where I said, oh, he's doing everything at once and I want to be able to do that. Wow. And I had just had to figure it out. And when I got to know Chet later in life, he told me that he had exactly the same experience. When, when he was young, he tuned in the radio and he heard Merle Travis oh. on, on the radio from Cincinnati. And he said, I could hear he was playing everything at once. I want to do that. You know, we both had the same experience. And this was before YouTube. And so how did you teach yourself how to do that? Well, I'm still teaching myself. You know, <laughs> I'm still beg begging, stealing and borrowing from everybody I, I come across. Um, you know, I don't spend all my time listening to guitar players. I'm more interested in singing and songwriting. I, I'm a songwriter who plays the guitar, really, and I'm an entertainer. I like to give people a, a, a good time. I'm not out there really to impress musicians. I could really care less about that. I'm out there to give people a good time, and that's how I make a living uh, answering my call, you know? And we actually have a clip of you performing. Take a look. Ah. <laughs>
Dean, are you explaining a little bit about this video piece that you just shot last month? Yeah, we were, we, I was actually on holidays uh, in, in Europe with my, my, my girlfriend, Clara, and um, she got this idea. She said, well, why don't we film and record some, uh, you just playing some songs for the fans and put it up on YouTube, something of better quality than what's been on there. Because so many people upload things out of their phone and, you know, and they, they think it's, it's good. And it really doesn't sound or look that, that good. And, and so I said, let's do it for the fans. So uh, we went into a, my, my friend's studio in Lipstadt in uh, Westphalia. And uh, we just set up mics and everything. And, and she set up the cameras. And we feel, I think I played six songs, just one after the other. And she edited it all together and up uploaded it. You know, Just a way of doing something of quality for the fans out there. You, know? yeah. well, you have a big performance coming up. I do, tonight at Devolves. We're excited. Yeah. That's a beautiful. I've heard it's a beautiful song. hall, oh, too. Oh, yeah, the acoustics are There's crazy. a lot going on in your town today. Man, yes, man, absolutely. there's people everywhere. And, you know, it, it's, it's an interesting energy because Art Prize is this, the world's largest art competition, and this year music has become more of a focus because, as yeah. you know, music is an incredible art form. And music brings people together. Mm -hmm. That's what I love about it. In fact, if you bought one of my caps, there's always the message on the back, music brings people together. Wonderful. My guitar is a weapon of mass construction. Oh. Oh, we like, like that. It's a message we need to hear more of. I do That's have to right. ask you. I grew up in Montana. I'm a huge country music fan. Mm -hmm. And I know that you recently received a huge honor from the country I did. The, um, C, the CMA Awards awarded me the Global Country Artist of the Year, which was a great honor for me. I don't sing songs about trucks, and I don't wear a hat, and, you know, my you horse has died. You a gun rack on the back of your pickup? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. But, you know, um, country music is, has been a part of my life right from the beginning. The very first music I heard was Jimmy Rogers and Hank Williams. That's the first thing I remember hearing. And I still love it. And I could sing you just about every one of their songs still, you know. And you've got Keith Urban from your own country. And Keith, yeah. Well, Keith, is, Keith used to come to my shows when he was in his teens. I remember meeting him the first time and he had, he had spiky blonde hair, white makeup on and black nails. And oh. he was just like... <laughs> He was the most unusual guy, yeah. you know, and he, uh, him and I had that conversation on a, on a flight uh, one time where he was saying, this is what I want to do and how am I going to do it? And I said, well, the first thing you've got to do is get out of Australia, yeah. go to America where that kind of music is, is popular, go and, go and become a songwriter, get some good songs and get some good people behind you and all that. And, it, and, and he did and he stuck oh, it out. I can yeah. remember him you know, being a pizza delivery boy and he picked me up in his old broken down chair to, to take me out to dinner one, one, one night. And, you know, and I, he, he did it tough like, like everybody else has. You know. well, we are so excited to have you here for this Thank evening's you. performance and Thank you. especially here during Art Prize. Oh yeah. And I know that you recently had the opportunity to work on some of Michael Jackson's Michael music. Michael Jackson's, um, yeah, the yeah, album Michael. Well, I, I was, uh, th that came about last year. I was in England, and my manager rang me, and she said, I've just had a call from Michael Jackson's estate. They want you to play on this track. Can, you know, can, we, can you go to L.A.? And I said, no, I can't. I have three days to be with my children, then I've got to go to Russia. I said, if they want me to play on the track, I'll have to do it in, in London. So, and I had to stand by that, you know. And so I ended up being able to get a studio in, in London. London. They uh, sent us the track via the internet and uh, downloaded it into the studio and I put my part on and uh, oh, I'm such a Michael Jackson fan, oh, you yeah. know, and uh, it was a great honor for me. It, it really was. So it's the last track on the album called M Much Too Soon mm -hmm. and Michael sings so great on that track. Yeah, it really does. It's hard to believe that he's gone. And that, that's how times have changed, you know, from where from where I come from. I come from from nowhere. And on my on my laptop is a video of me playing on Michael's track and and doing a duet with Tom Jones. You know, that's that's how things have changed. Well, wow. talented man, thank you so much for being <laughs> here welcome. with us. Thanks today. for having me on today. To you forever, but we know you have to get on to a sound check. <laughs> thank you. Tickets are still available for the concert tonight, DeVos Performance Hall. Yeah. Check them out if you're interested. Thank you.